Good morning, folks. Hundreds in New Zealand saw a fiery meteorite streak across the sky last night. Off the coast of India, thousands of fish are washing ashore dead. We had a number of large quakes on the western subduction zone of the Americas, with the largest being a 6.3 in Mexico. Folks in Texas saw a meteorite of their own last night, and Oklahoma had a bold 4.0 kind of start to their day. This is a good article about the growing Korean nuclear threat, the threat that caused us to allegedly activate our defense systems. I didn't know they turned HARP off. This is an excellent article about potentially liquid flowing water forms on Mars. And the top story for us nerds, after being called crazy for a long time over our magnetic star theories which said stars must have iron cores. <laughs> long way to go, but it's a start. Look south of Alaska in the Northeast Pacific, this swirling low pressure system has pinched off from the bigger low and is now spinning ominously up there. We might want to watch that. This red line here is the BZ. It should be above that dotted line, but it's tipped south and solar plasma has been penetrating our shields all night. The induction magnetometer went from PC1 pulsations to kind of prolonged resonance here at 2 Hz. The CME from yesterday will deliver a glancing blow to Earth in a few days, as you can see here on the endless spiral. came from an unstable filament attached to this sprawled out region of activity here. Now, despite NOAA's new numbering, these regions were once the sidekicks of former 11429, which was in the center. These regions should probably still be seen as one as they are interacting and the magnetics suggest that their morphing is dependent on one another. To make my point clear, you can see here uh, all their connectivity. The front part is beginning to become more active and probably should be monitored over the next day or so. On the topic of planetary positions and earthquakes, we have a full moon on April 6th where it lines up with the Earth and the Sun and a day later the moon will make its monthly close approach to the Earth. Now as this occurs the Earth is moving directly between Mars and Mercury and just a few days after that Saturn opposes the Sun. It will be directly overhead at midnight. That's the news folks. We've got a lot to watch. Be safe.